Red flags, red flags. Red flags. Or welcome to my channel. Today's video was supposed to be something else because I posted an Instagram poll and I'm pretty sure the boyfriend tag was the winner but he's not about it so we're gonna do red flags in the workplace instead because that was second place and that was actually something that I wanted to do for a couple weeks now. I also want to throw out there, there's no reason that that random video of me cleaning off my car should have had that many, 10, I know it's not a lot, but like 10 views. Why? Why are there so many? And why did last week's video, why does last week's video, as of right now, have less views? It's an actual video. Why does it have less views? You guys are really interesting. But anyway, getting into today's video, I do want to disclaim. I am not going to say whether or not these red flags have happened to me or anyone that I know. They're just kind of red flags that I may or may not have experienced or that I've heard about on TikTok or that I've gotten like further information from from TikTok regarding a certain red flag. So. Yeah, and if you have experienced or are currently experiencing any of these red flags, leave. No job is worth that. No, n you're not, like, nothing is worth a toxic work environment. So that's what I'm going to say about that, and let's jump in. I did not write any of these down. I probably should have, but I didn't. But the first thing that comes to mind to me when I think of workplace red flags, if you go to the interview and they hire you on the spot, like can you start tomorrow type energy, red flag. That means that they are most likely severely short staffed and they need someone to start literally tomorrow because they're so short staffed. Which goes into my next point, find out about the turnover rate. I will say that at my previous job, after COVID hit, there was just constant turnover. And I don't, I don't know if it's because, like, people thought it was one thing and it turned out to be something more than what they thought, or if maybe they were just trying it out and it wasn't for them. I don't know what, what the T was. I am gonna, I am gonna confirm that. But the turnover rate is really important because you want to know how often people are coming and going. And a lot of um, potential customers used to ask me like what the turnover rate was. And sometimes I really wouldn't know how to answer that question. So I would be like, well, certain people have been here for X amount of years. And I would like kind of focus on that even though we did have a big turnover rate for a lot of positions. So short staff and turnover rate are the first two. The third red flag is if you are not allowed to discuss payment or salary with other employees, other coworkers, um, you are legally, I saw on TikTok that you are legally allowed to discuss this. And if your employer says you're not allowed to, it's either because there's favoritism or someone is getting paid the same amount as somebody else without the same qualifications. It's usually one of those two things. And I did not know that that was even a thing. Like, I saw in this one TikTok video recently that, like, if you are banned from discussing that like you can do like you could like pursue like legal action so that's something interesting that I learned and I feel like if you are paying someone 
the same amount as someone else with, but like if person A has all of these qualifications to back up why they're getting paid, where they're getting paid, and person B is getting paid the exact same thing without the qualifications just because you like them better, that's... I think that's a little messed up personally. Like I like for like I didn't work my butt off to get degree after degree and to be somewhere just for some new person to come in and make the same amount as me with less qualifications and just because they're a man. Anyway. You like how I said I wasn't gonna confirm or deny anything, and here I am. But anyway. So that was the third one. The fourth one is there is something that my boyfriend said that makes a good leader in the workplace is, I don't remember exactly how he said it, but it was something along the lines of reprimand in private, praise in public, okay? Which I totally, yes, like, l yes. The fourth red flag is if it's the opposite, okay? If they're praising you in public and reprimanding you or, sorry, if they're reprimanding you in public and then praising you in private. That's so toxic. That is such, that's probably honestly the biggest red flag. You do not need to be at a place where you have a work meeting and there's 20 to 30 of you, for example, and your boss comes in and just picks you out or picks a few people out by name and just rips you a new one in front of everyone. There's no reason for it. No reason at all. That's messed up. And that's the nicest way I could put it. Because the words I want to say right now, I'm not going to say. Because I try to make this, like, not a family channel, but, like, I don't, you know, there are words I want to say, but I'm not going to. So we're just going to leave it at, that's messed up. But that is such a huge red flag. Like, the biggest red flag. So, in my personal opinion. The, I think we're on the fifth red flag. The fifth red flag in a workplace is if the people you are working for is constantly telling you where you need to improve, whether it's in public or private, where you constantly need to improve and doesn't appreciate you. You should be working at a place where you are not only making money, but where you are happy and where you are appreciated by the people who hired you. And not just within the first like few months or the probation period or the first 90 days, the entire time. You want to feel appreciated the entire time. And something that I will no longer stand for, personally, is being in a place, whether it's work, a friendship, a social circle, whatever. I refuse to be in a place where I am not appreciated. Or the effort that I am giving out is not being reciprocated. Nope. Never again. Never again. If you are not appreciated, I would say more then you are being ridiculed or you need to improve on. It's not worth it. Red flag. You know what? I think, I think I'm going to stop there and I can always do a part two and cause I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, bombard you guys with a whole bunch of red flags and I have to go quit your jobs, but I think I'm going to stop there. So we'll do like those five. And I think that's what I'll title this video to like five red flags of the workplace. And we can always do a part two. If you want a part two, let me know down below. But with that being said, that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Become a banana today. Join the banana bunch. We would love to have you. If you want to know what I'm going to be up to, all my social media will be listed down below like always. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.